be facing extraordinary times, a time in our history that we will never forget. And with that uncertainty comes feelings of fear, anxiety, stress, a sense of being disconnected. And we need to stop and acknowledge that these feelings are real. As educators, you've been called to focus on the curriculum and how it can be recovered and how the school year can be restored. And whilst all of that is very, very important, we know that without the key role players, the educators being in a place of well-being, that cannot happen. And so the purpose of this time in the workshop is to pause and to allow you to get in touch with your inner self, to reflect and to be able to think about your well-being. How are you doing? How are you feeling at this lockdown period? How are you coping with the thought of returning to school? Some of you may be back at school and with that comes feelings of apprehension, but also perhaps feelings of excitement as you anticipate seeing learners again and your colleagues. I want to encourage you to, to consider a few Ps. How are you doing personally? Are you able to find a new pattern in this time? It has called for much fortitude and much faith as we've tried to establish new ways of doing things. And so in your own life, have you been able to establish a pattern which has allowed you to cope, allowed you to feel a sense of well-being? And so researchers will tell us that pattern allows us to feel secure. And when we stripped of pattern, we feel stressed, we feel uncertain, we feel like we're losing control. So if you have a regular pattern of early morning devotions or a regular exercise pattern, a regular time of connecting with special people, that will all help to enhance well-being. What about your sense of purpose? Your purpose as an educator, your purpose as a, as a parent, your purpose as a, a life partner, have you visited that lately and just been reminded of how important your purpose is? And your sense of person, how are you doing on a personal level, feeling that there's so much that you've got to do, so much you've got to cope with and wondering if you are enough? We all need to be validated, we all need to be affirmed as people and so it's very important that we take time to just remember that we are important, that we do have a role to play and take time to affirm that in others as well. On a professional level, how are things going? How are you connecting with your colleagues? How are you managing to stay in touch with your principal? Those times of connection are incredibly important. And then in terms of partnership and our partnership with you, Siawela's partnership with you, we want you to know that we would like to be able to support you in whatever way is possible. And so it's important that we are made aware of needs, that we are sensitive to where you are at. And so we encourage you to stay connected with your facilitators because connection is so important to our sense of well-being. So I would encourage you to, to focus on the few P's that I have considered and allow yourself to get in touch with your inner self. Give yourself time to pause. Give yourself time to, to really consider you. Because without you, this work cannot be done. And your well-being is absolutely key to the success of the education process.